Hello students, um, this is Tourism English Made Easy and Enjoyable. Let's start to this fourth week of ours. Again, Sangju uh, Coronavirus class uh, for Tourism English 2. Um, go to your guide and go to page 23. Here, I'm indicating here, 23. There are expressions here, idioms, that we need to look at. It is our source book. It says the source book for this. I will just show you. It's the idioms. Uh, go down. Go up. There. These are the idioms. What day suits you best? Uh, when would it be convenient for you? I made a promise. Stick to your promise. What's the Korean? This is the issue. And this is where I want to help you in order to get an understanding as to how to do this. And I'm going to bring this book, the blue book that you see here, is exactly the, the, the Nexus book, the source book that we are using for these idioms to help you in order for you to make it easy that you can hear. I'll bring it closer to you. Uh, there, what day suits you best? There is the Korean. Can you see there? There's an arrow, right? Next one. When would it be convenient for you? And there is the Korean. Can you see the Korean there? Yes. Um, I'm going to take you to the next page for the next one. It's on page 348. 348. And... It says there 348. I'm now here. I made I made a promise. And I'm coming with the book. There it is. I made a promise. There's your Korean. Um, I'm gonna go up to the next one. The next two three of them. Stick to your promise. Let me go up. Uh, stick to your promise. Right? There is the Korean. Then, promises are like pie crust made to be broken. And then there is another expression that's never your, uh, it should never be your um, motto. Um, here is um, often, we often break our promises. Now, if you go at the bottom there, there is the Korean, uh, the Korean for the expression. I go slowly through that you can see the total reading of the sentence, you see, here and there is the Korean. Now, this people use this expression just to joke. They never mean, they don't mean what they say uh, when they say promises are to be broken. Um, it is just a joke. And uh, it's in casual conversation that they, they normally laugh when they say it. Uh, uh, trying to be funny about it, but it is not uh, It's not the way we live when we say that We don't mean what we say there Okay, we come to the next one is the field trip will likely be cancelled. I need to cancel that reservation It's actually at the top there. I need to cancel that I Where is it? I I need at the top to cancel that reservation and there it is right you can see it over there I need to cancel that reservation yes all right this is this page we move on to the other pages um, at the top there back there it is we've um, going to the top there <clears throat> I need to reschedule our appointment and there is the is the Korean for that we we go to we are going to have to postpone our reservation there it is yes and we are one page further two pages further and we come to page five, 353 um, fall behind schedule and there is the Korean 
right to fall behind schedule. There it is. Thanks. Okay, is this all? No, there are a couple more um, that we have in the next page. It says um, the air flight uh, was, it was due to touch down. Um, and there is the Korean. Uh, this one is, he is heading to town. The trip is now slated for late September. Slated for late September. Okay, and we have one more, a few pages further, 357, page 357, we come to, come to this one, no refunds, sorry, no refund, uh, where is it, sorry, but no refunds are available for no shows, there is your Korean, see, there is the Korean. Okay. You should be able to, to get that. And that's the end of our idioms. Thanks.